What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius, back at it again with some more Kuroko no Basket. Today we're doing episodes 69 and 70. First one is called Miracles Don't Happen, which is not true, they absolutely do happen. The next one is called The Weight of Resolve. I am very excited to hop into this and continue our match with Rakuzan, especially with Mayazumi, the Kuroko upgrade coming out and showing what he can do so don't forget to subscribe click that bell if you guys have not and uh, so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon for early access full length all that jazz let's hop right on into it kuroko no basket episodes 69 and 70 let's do it like a chihuahua standing before a lion oh they even had to show the visuals of it hey something to change up the pace do whatever we, you know Oh, we're totally serious. His first time experience the uh, the Emperor's eye. Yes, good support from the boy. And so with a lot less space in the paint. Yeah, he can't do it. So it cuts off his options by a lot. And so that evens the playing field between them. Decent defensive plan. Do what we can. I like it. I love he does a step back. It's so clean. Creates even the smallest amount of space and then just takes advantage of it. Good tip. Oh, it just went in. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Oh, so now they're leaving him open? Come on, Furihata. Come on. Who are you feeling like right now? What, did he twist his ankle when Akashi passed him? He's just out of strength already? He's ex is that mentally drain or is that physically draining being out there in a game this intense? Okay, Fukuda. Kawahara, Fukuda, backup, reserves. I mean, we, I'll be honest, we love the bench warmers. Even in Haikyuu, other shows, we always love them. So I know they have it in them. I always think back to my boy Yamaguchi. Same thing. Beyond them, like white on rice. Close the gap. Oh, yeah, he's super frustrated. I get it. I feel the same way, buddy. I know exactly how you feel. But as long as you turn that into proper motivation, you'll be a much stronger individual. So that's what I love to see. The shooting guard showdown. <laughs> The immediate jump up. There's no way you can block that with the immediate. You have he has the head start plus it's a fadeaway. I know, right? But hey, sometimes you just gotta be in awe, you know. Oh, the jump, the barrier jumper, the quick jump back. I love how his is different from a fadeaway, but same basic premise. You know, create space and immediately take advantage of it. Exactly what I was just saying. I appreciate your show. I appreciate your show. Okay. Oh god, here we go. You know of Hanamiya saying something, it's not good. Earth, heaven and earth. Heaven, earth, and hell? What's the other one? His opponents can't respond to? Void. An endless void of nothingness. That's three kind of shots. One that's more hidden. 
Yeah, what the? F you really have a Sharingan push you in a Genjutsu? I love how much time we get to spend in their minds. Now he's like encroaching all up on him. Of course, of course. So we were still able to get the points, but the first set of two points versus we've been going three back and forth, back and forth, you know? Yeah, but who will win the war? That's the real question. <laughs> Immediate. But then he... <laughs> He thinks you're going for it without faking for the immediate, but then, and he fucking draws a foul. Like, uh, Mibuchi is his name, right? He is so good. <laughs> it is sad to say, because Junpei is still an amazing shooter, but it's the things my man Mibuchi has available at his disposal, you know, is kind of insane. All right, Ironheart, Mr. Kiyoshi. That's what we like to hear. Let's, let's start getting some momentum in our favor, please. Nebuya is quite the big guy. The brick wall. God damn it. Still our ball, though, so we're chilling. Okay, it's literally the... Okay. The Herculean Strength. I like how they all have their own nickname. The Demon Shooter Herculean Strength, you know? That's hilarious. I don't mind Contest of Strength. Mr. Ironheart. Ooh, they all have their own name. I love it. Yeah, he's got that vice grip. You gotta watch it. Just outpowered you. He's as heavy as a boulder. Those muscles do pack a punch. <laughs> Muscle dunk. <laughs> I'm gonna start working out, and when I do get buff, like my boy Nebuya, I'm gonna start saying that. When I get buff like Nebuya, aka Lack Zone, I know you guys know Lack Zone, I'm gonna start saying that. Great. Fake out. Of course we are. Got to use everything at our disposal. Got to hit that bank. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. We were forced to pass right there. That is a very good point. They are our foundation. Pillars. Great examples. Breaking the team's legs. We can't even stand up on our two feet without them. With the music going on in the background. Oh, he was distracted for so not. He was like, you know, he's at, he's he's exhausted. He's so focused on a whole bunch of different things. Man, oh, we're drawing the X's for our players and uh, no. I wish I had an answer for you. I wish we sh we should be as well, you know. I wish we could be. <laughs> right? Rico's. Yeah, it's frustrating. Is this why the this episode is called "Miracles Don't Happen" or "There Will Be No Miracles"? Whatever it's called, I'm so butthurt. Yeah, you know it's it's rare for Akashi to do something like this. Is he? Akashi with the godly dunk? All of our team is X'd out. How are we going to win this? Like, how do we turn this around? How far behind are we? Miracles don't happen. I can't even win with one. Oh my god, talk about a depressing ending. This next one better turn it around a little bit or I'm going to be butt hurt. All right, on to episode 70. This one is called The Weight of Resolve, the third quarter. It's crazy. We're already 
halfway through the game, the final game of Kuroko no Basket. That's one thing we are. It's resilient, persistent, perseverance. I don't know what words I'm trying to say. And he drew another foul. Doing the same fake out. Avoid into a, a earth, right? That's what it was. Heaven. Heaven and earth this time. Yeah, that desperation, that frustration is just hitting us. He is getting flustered. Yeah, we do not want to be arguing with the refs, you know. Don't be getting technicals, too. Oh, no. You have to listen to the refs in these situations. Yeah, we don't want them fouled out of the game. I know. Intolerably foolish. This, I mean, it's just, it's just frustration, you know. Look at him. It's passion. It's, it's a 74 raw emotions pent up into, you know. Oh. It's not over yet. Thank you, Kisa. I mean, there's a there's a monocle of respect there that he's like, I won't stop until you're dead. You know, he doesn't take it easy on him. He doesn't get complacent. And boom. How are we gonna win this? I genuinely don't understand how we're gonna win this. Never opens for those who ask for help. You gotta pry it open yourself. I love that visual of that light just dimming out. No, you can't lose it. Something's gonna make that light just explode. Kuroko, it has to be. Because I do not like this right now. Come on. All those emotions hitting you, you know? I feels you, my man. I feels you. Haha, <laughs> number two feels you too. Do whatever you can. Yeah. Are they all shocked Kuroko's coming back? Coming back out? That's only if you give up? Ooh, it's not going to. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Original trickster. Number 11, Kuroko Tatsuya! Oh, ha ha. Uh huh. We'll see about that, Mayazumi. We'll see about that, buddy. He told you that before. He's saying it again. Oh, I thought he was going to applaud his conviction, but no. Meaningless, you say? Oh, yep, we'll see about that. That's There you go, right? As long as the first year still got it, you, you got to, you know, keep hope. Come on. Imagine this squad with Kogane and minus Junpei. We're at such a disadvantage. Good shot. We needed that. Driving in, in the paint, going for the shot. Ooh, Kagami with the block. And then the immediate counter attack. Great layup. Right back into that same duel. Come on. The music in Kuroko no Basket always goes so crazy. In all sports animes that I've seen so far, this Blue Lock and Haikyuu, the music goes insane. <laughs> He's still the Phantom Six Man. I'm not the old one. I'm the current one. Great steal. Again with the no one noticing you. Great counter attack with the steal. Nope, just an immediate pass, immediate assist. Did 
Did Kuroko make Mayazumi take all the presents that Kuroko had? By making him just make all these shots and start going in? Overwrite. Me? Exactly, exactly. Yeah? I mean, everyone was like, oh, he's going ham. Mayazumi's going ham. Mayazumi! <laughs> that is very true. Great rebound. Does make you make your moves a little quicker and make a little more mistakes, you know? That is very true. It's definitely not enough for us to beat Rakuzan, so what are we going to do? And that was a great steal from Akashi. Is this not... Is this the opening or the ending they're playing right here? Kuroko, you're amazing. That's the last thing we want. Ooh! Back into the zone, okay. Okay, and this is the second half. We're using our... Okay. Backing up, giving him the space. Is he trying to say that he can jump and block him or react in any which way he does? He's running off pure instincts right now. And he passed it. There's a difference between passing and being forced to pass. Just instinctively. Give me that ball. Reflexively took it. I mean, when it comes to the pressure that's built up during these games and, you know, your reaction time, I can see that. His will to fight for the team. And he's gone. He's returned to the shadows. The weight of his resolve to be a shadow. And we were down 25, right? Now we're down 19. There's hope. Exactly. There's a chance. Look at that picture right there with the power of the shadow and light. Woo! Right? Gotta love teammates like that. It's normally uh, Junpei saying that to Kiyoshi. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's payback. <laughs> everyone's got to steal everyone's lines every once in a while. Come on. I wonder what Akashi said to him. Yeah, I thought they would have subbed him out too. He's still in there. Interesting. Counting on you to help Rakuzan win. I don't. I wonder what he means by that. How is? Okay, Ring of Fire. What just happened? Did Akashi do it? Yeah, he directed Kagami's attention to Mayazumi. He's just using him. As a passing tool, literally. God damn. Every single time we take one step forward, we take two steps back, or should I say they take three steps forward. I'm like, God damn it. Well, we're getting deeper into this match. Those were some great episodes. I love uh, the assists from Furihata. 
um, Kawahara, Fukuda, and now Kogane. Junpei fouling out is very unfortunate, and that does suck, but with all the pressure and the pent-up emotions and everything, I feel him. It's a rough situation, but shouts out Kuroko for being so frustrated to the point where he had to come back and, and, and do some shenanigans. The original trickster, like they called him, you know? But even so, Akashi comes back just... They, they had the right choice having Levi be the voice actor for this man. No joke. This man is something else. It is it is really insane. But overall, I love the desperation that felt in that first match with the, the light dimming out and us losing hope. We still don't have full confidence yet, but that, that light is getting oh so much smaller. Oh so much smaller, you know? So I'm really enjoying these episodes. Animations been going crazy. The music been going crazy. Everything. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying as well. If you have, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. Check out that Patreon for early access and the full uncuts up to four episodes. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.